Now we'll have a few hours, but uh, we'll see how they go anyway. Well, first of all, I would say welcome along to Philip Linus of Tunisia. I got it right this time. I'm always saying Linus. I'm sorry yeah. about that. Philip, this is your second solo tour to Ireland. You're welcome back. Um, how come you're back so soon after the summer one? Uh, just for money for the Christmas, you know. <laughs> <laughs> it was more so that than anything else. We, I, I had, I knew I was coming home for the Christmas and. Uh, I had a lot of fun, mm -hmm. you know, doing the small gigs in the summer. Yeah. So I just thought it'd be nice to come around and do a few more, you know, just because, yeah. uh, like Lizzie, are going on the road on a world tour next year, so... So we'll see Lizzie back in action again. Yeah, then. so I just thought it'd be nice to throw in a couple of days, you know. Great. Well, it's been, what, nearly ten years, no, more, I think, what right about that, since you were in Water last, last time. I can remember it was a silver spoon out in Tremor. That's the last yeah. memory That's I have. I used to go yeah. with me holidays, you know. It hasn't changed an awful lot. It's probably a bit more commercial, perhaps, than you realise it. Uh, your second album, of course, the Philip Blinded album, has changed its name. I seem to remember it's been called Fitter's Gratitude at one stage. Yeah, it was, yeah. Uh, why the change? Any particular reasons? Um, uh, at one stage, because the album was real uh, manic depressive at one stage, mm -hmm. you know, and I had this very fatalistic outlook on everything. Mm -hmm. And I thought this would be a good title. And then there was a delay on the album, and I did a couple of other tracks, and it changed the feel of it. So I couldn't think of a, a new title to go with the new feel that was off the album. So, so it was just the handiest. Yeah, yeah so well, it's, you know. it gets it across. Um, <laughs> <laughs> now, Thin Lizzy, our course are on the road for ten years. Am I wrong? Yeah. In around the time. Yeah. Well, how do you see yourself if if uh, Thin Lizzy were to split, say this time next year? Would you still have a solo career, or would you perhaps start up another band? Oh, um, I don't know because uh, or is that one, I, I, you know, I don't want Lizzy to break up. But if it did yeah. break up, uh, uh, there'd have to be certain circumstances that would cause that. So. I wouldn't like to just say, oh yeah, I'd just continue on with a solo mm -hmm. career. I don't, I'm not really sure whether I'd want to do do that, really. I mean, it's okay when I'm doing it for fun, but yeah. taking it serious, you yeah, know. Because that's another question when yeah. the time happens, I suppose you think yeah. about it then. Auto de Fane are a band that have been uh, coming to the fore, at least in the Irish scene, in the last couple of months, and you've produced the two singles, November, November, and yeah. Bad Brandon. Experience, yeah. You have Robbie Brennan, and Trevor Knight are there with the, with with Orte Are they with you tonight? Or no, no. Brian no. Diamond's here tonight. But Brian's with you this evening. Huh? Yeah. Had a bonus for the Lizzie fans, I suppose. Um, I'll get through these questions for as quickly as I can for you, to, not to hold you too long. Today's trend in music, I've written down here. Your opinion of them, and um, yeah, just your opinion of today's trend in music. Have you any preferences for the music that's hitting the charts? Obviously, you'd like to see your own hitting the charts a bit more often, but uh, the music that's that's in the top thirty these days. Uh, it's wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know. I mean, some of it, you know. I mean, my favourite is Boy George. <laughs> no, I like him. <laughs> or her. And, uh, the, you know, there's, there's a lot of good sounds uh, that are coming out, you know. There's, there's still there's the same old crap, you know, as well, you know. But there is a lot of good good yeah. sounds in the chairs. I, I'm just... With with the new music in general, when you sort of talk about like, yeah, yeah. like new romantic or whatever, yeah. the phrases that week, I you know the fashion seems to play a lot to do with it. And with keyboards, it's very hard to see an exciting live act, mm -hmm. you know, with, with a guy dinking behind a, a, a keyboard, you know. But so whereas I like the records, like they're making good gimmicky records and there's good sounds coming out and the good, good production, I I'd like to see more live acts coming out mm -hmm. of, of new music because it just seems... Not, don't seem to tour. Yeah. Well, if, if they <clears> do <throat> tour, they're not really that interesting to watch. Well, for me, you know, like... A, and, like, I like that type of music. I dabble in it, bits and bobs of yeah. every type of music I can, but I just don't see good live acts like, say, you would with a rock band, you know, yeah. with, with guys standing up playing guitars. There's just more aggression in it and yeah. just more... So... As a live thing, you know, I'd like to go and see rock bands and, you know, like, to put on my record player. Maybe yes. I'd like things that make my stereo, <laughs> so I know my stereo is working, you know. So, <laughs> but you know, just so I'm for new music. I just think there should be a bit better more new, uh, new live acts, yes. you know. Well, you mentioned their keyboards, and um, I remember one time I remember reading an interview with you. I can't remember who it was with, but. Uh, you sort of were dead against keyboards, but the Renegade album, the Nasty album, had a 
the keyboards, of course, with Darren on it. Mm -hmm. uh, did you have a change of heart? Or an extra sound into the band? Yeah, I think that was meeting up with Mid Joe, and Mid Joe was with the band, you know. He, yeah. To me, key, keyboards was always like a bit like Deep Purple. I think of keyboards in that context, yeah. you know, the old keyboard player like that. And by meeting up with Mid, he introduced me to synthesizers and stuff like that. And I seen that. They'd gone from being dinky toys, and you could actually get good. So you're happy with them then? Sound. So uh, you know, my yeah. opinion changed. Great. Um, changed things. Right, cigarettes been passed around. I leave it alone for the moment. <laughs> no, uh, I'm going as quickly as I can, Philip. As I said, to you, I don't want to be harping on it. But uh, uh, Tennessee at the moment, right? I presume there's a new album due out fairly shortly. How about a new live album? Anything, um, anything happened with the new live album? Yeah, the last one was so successful. We're going to give away uh, a couple of live tracks with this album. I hope. Um, but the, the next album is a recorded album. It's mm -hmm. called Thunder and Lightning. It's with John and Sykes. It, yeah, and it's yeah. really heavy. And I think it's up front. Uh, so, you know, there will be room. You know, the live stuff is always there. It's always recorded. It's down, you know. Yeah, I mean, yeah. It's in the bag. <laughs> it's, uh, I'm sure you'd agree that Liz Lizzie are more a live band than a studio band, at least from impressions I get from people I talk to about Lizzie music. They say they're much better live than they are. Uh, when it comes to studio album. Yeah, I'm sure it's a rough generalisation that would be true, yeah. Yeah. Okay, then. Um, I don't know if I should really ask you this question, because I haven't heard anything about it since the last time I read about it. it was uh, about you playing the part of Jimi Hendrix in a proposed film. Oh, yeah. Well, I rejected the script. <laughs> they wanted me to um, glorify the sex and drugs part of his career. Yeah. As opposed to... Music. The music, which was the main reason for me, so... I had a notorious reputation myself for them things, so I decided that I'd do the best. I kept well, well away from it. Yeah. Fine. Well, inspiration for songs then, Philip. Uh, do they come from true life, your own life, and has getting married given you any inspiration for new songs? And of course, I'm talking in particular about the lovely song Kathleen, which has been my favourite track from that album, from the new album. Um, Simply because I have a, a Kathleen and a niece as well. Yeah. So. yeah, I think, you know, obviously, you know, having kids, you know, uh, gave me more responsibility mm -hmm. and, and, you know, was a major event in me, in me life, so, you know, it influenced me songwriting. But I always hate when that question is worded like, you know, has it made you <laughs> old, you know? <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know yeah. I think I'm uh, more responsible to the to my family in that, but I'm still sort of fairly irresponsible <laughs> to the public. <laughs> Keeping a certain the, the rebel, as they say, from years. No, it's not, it's, I honestly don't go looking for trouble or, you know, <laughs> trying to, you yeah. know, do anything. It's just... But I don't think... I, I think, like, the way the, the way it is now with the band, you know, the, the new Lizzie album, I think Lizzie, for me, were on the wane uh, for a while. So mm -hmm. that's why... There's been a change in the lineup, mm -hmm. and this could could be the last tour if the band doesn't keep up to the integrity that it's always had, you know. So, but if Lizzie don't, you know, pull out the stops mm -hmm. and get back on the right track, then I I wouldn't drag the name into the gutter, you know. Yeah, you know what I mean? I'd like to. your head. Yeah. So, <clears throat> I mean, a lot depends on this next world tour. Grand. Uh, just a couple more, Philip, and then we let you away. It's ten years, or in a round, as we said, that Lizzie have been on the road one way or the other. When you were starting off, things perhaps might have been a bit easier. What do you think of chances for Irish bands today making it? I mean, we've looked at U2, and they had a, a minor success across the water. What would you think is the, the, that's making it tougher for them this time round, rather than what you had ten years ago? Uh, you know, uh, it was as hard years ago as it was, as it is today. I just think if the bands are talented enough and there's a lot of luck and a couple of connections, maybe, you know. Yeah. Um, I think Arts of the Fay now are going to crack just because, you know, I put the record with somebody and he's been getting them a lot of players. Now, yeah. that record was out in August, I think. November, now is the one I'm talking about, November, yeah. November. I think it might be a hit in January in England. Okay. Now, that was out in August in Ireland. And I think it's a thing about the Irish that we haven't got the perspective 
to judge ourselves over here. Mm -hmm. it, seem, it seems that mm -hmm. you have to go away, make it away, come back, exactly the same band, but because you've made it, you know, it's, it's like we leave it to the English to just say who's good and yeah, bad yeah. Of, of our bands. And it's a, I think it's a fault with the artists that, you know, we can't, you know, mind you, then, you know, you couldn't make a living here anyway, it's you know. <laughs> so, you know, you, you do have to go over there and you do have to try. And, and, and the chances are hard for making it, but, you know, the, there will always be those that, if they're talented enough, that will get through, you know. Well, that might give a... Uh some of the local bands a bit of inspiration. I like that band, that it's, you know, you it's planned tonight, yeah. tonight. Yeah, well they've been around for quite some time. They were with you in McCroom as well, uh, yeah. very early on the day. Um, okay, well, two last questions. One, what's your favourite uh, favorite track from both the solo albums, in your own opinion? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <coughs> I could get all seven the mountain and say Kathleen is my favourite <laughs> track on the new one, but it's not. And I think growing up, it's yeah. the track I like the best. I had a feeling you were going to say that for some reason, because you sang it in McCroom, and yeah. uh, you really looked as though you were really into that particular song at that time when I was watching it. No, I started to remember the lyrics. <laughs> <laughs> a final one then, Philip. Um, perhaps in the times that you've come back to Ireland, there have been many changes, but one of the biggest changes, I suppose, has been the introduction of pirate radio. Do you have any thoughts on it, is it good or bad in your personal opinion? Do you I think, think we should stay at it, in other words? <laughs> no, I think pirate radio is wrong. <laughs> it's a terrible evil thing. <laughs> this interview is not going out tonight. <laughs> no, I think, I think actually that media in Ireland is one of the, the major changes in the last ten years. You know, years ago, you were lucky if you got English TV. Never mind, you know. And, I mean, RTE was just... There was only one radio station. Yeah. And, 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 like, it, the wind had to be blown to the south or something, you know, for you to get, you know, any of it. Now there's, like, six channels. Well, I get six channels. Mm -hmm. And there's, like, local radio all over the country, and there's more contemporary sounds being played. Now, I hope this, you know, boom in media doesn't mean that it's going to end up all imitating one another and mm -hmm. it becomes like America where you just get bland music, you know, yes. they only play the hits and don't break in the new bands. But I think that is a major thing, and it makes... It puts it, it, it actually puts the Irish kids ahead of, say, England, where the radio is 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 more controlled, you know, because mm -hmm. the pirate thing they clamp down heavier on the pirate thing yeah. over there, and the TV, you know, they've only got their own stations. Yeah. So I mean, so over here they've got more chance of 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 choice, you know, and hopefully something will come of it eventually. Yeah. Well, Phil, we'd like to thank you very much indeed for allowing us to take this bit of time with you. I'd like to wish you the best of luck tonight, and I don't think you'll have any problems getting a good audience. Cheers. And don't leave it too long before you bring Lizzie back. Yeah, cheers. And, and thank you very cheers. much indeed. Thank you.